Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today we're going to be talking about user accounts. And within Notero we have four types of user accounts. We have an administrative user account, a practitioner user account, an assistant user account, and a patient or client user account. So if I click on my initials in the top right corner, I can see I am logged in as the admin. I can switch my roles if I had to. So my uh, user account is set up for the admin practitioner and assistant. I could also be set up as a patient. But in this case, I'm only set up as these three. So we're gonna leave that as admin, then we'll toggle to the other two in a minute. So let's take a look at the profile section for the admin. You can see I'm logged in as admin. If I need to change any of these details, I just click edit here and I can change any of my details. So I'll just close this slide out. If I needed to put a photo, I can just click on this little avatar here. And my auto login is set. Do not log, do not log in automatically. So if you have this set, it'll bypass uh, your selection screen when you put your password in to log into Notero. The next is two-factor authentication. And two-factor is just an additional code that you'll need to put in when you log in and there's a setup, you just have to click on setup if you wanted to enable two-factor authentication. Auto logout, I have it set for 24 hours. So any inactivity, I'll be automatically logged out after 24 hours. Um, I can set that as far out as seven days. If I want it to stay logged in. The next is notification preferences. And we have two types of notification preferences. We have email notification and in-app. The in-app notifications are just simply clicking on this little bell here. And if you have a notification, there'll be a little red dot above uh, the red bell there. And so if you want to receive any of these notifications, you'll just basically check or uncheck any of the notifications you do or do not want to receive. And so we have it broken up into my appointments, patient, um, a patient or client category, uh, classes, if I have classes, um, other practitioners, and uh, other so for helpful tips and then the last section here is tell claims so if you're a canadian clinic and you have a connection uh, it's also listed at the bottom of this page next we will toggle so we'll change or switch between the admin and we will go to the practitioner there's a few additional sections in the practitioner account so again i'll click on my initials and the profile details are very similar uh, as we looked at the admin. So let's take a look at the calendar. So in the calendar section, you can connect your calendar in Notero directly to your Google Calendar if you wanted to, and it would move the events from Notero into your Google Calendar. If you don't use Google, you can also sync uh, your calendar to other types of calendars, like if you're using Apple or Microsoft Outlook, you would just copy that link and then you would follow the steps within whatever application you're using. Cancellations, if you allow cancellations, you'll just toggle or click the check in that box and say allow cancellations and how much notice you're gonna require and then you click save. Scheduling limits, so if you have scheduling limits, so if you, if you have online booking enabled, for example, and you want a minimum lead time, so time before an appointment can be booked, you'll check this box and you put a value in here. And maximum lead time just shows how far out your calendar will display in the future. And again, you'll just check the box. Uh, maximum appointments per day or maximum hours per day. This again is for online booking. It's not within the application. And so if you want to set how many appointments or hours. And then the last is cluster booking. And cluster booking is just booking appointments around existing breaks or appointments on your calendar. And the last, uh, or so the section that we have here, it's not really a settings, it's a snippet. And snippets are just um, information that you can quickly add to notes. And so anything that you would use repetitively on notes, you can populate as a snippet. And you can see I have a number here. So if I want to add a new snippet, for example, I can add a new snippet, which would be a, a shortcut. And I can put as much text as I need in here. And by just clicking on your keyboard, the forward slash, and start typing these letters, and then the enter button, you can add any of the information that you edit very quickly into a note. And so that's what snippets, that's what snippets are. Um, and then the last is I toggled to my last account, which is the assistant account, which is 
similar in the setting uh, setup as the admin. It just has a profile section as well. Okay, so thank you for watching, and please click subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released.